Hi, it's Stella from Ibu University, and this is Stella Short and Sweet for Opal from Bruins Editions. The Maleficent Witch has trapped our only guardian of the kingdom, the giant dragon Azura. Now we must help to free it to restore the peace. The game plays two players, with mechanics such as hand management and set collection. The game is of light complexity. In Opel, players collect points by playing their cards cleverly. How? Each player has their own deck with similar type of cards and amount, have 5 cards in hand from it at the start each turn. On a player's turn, players play one card or more as long as they have the same pictures. Cards are placed to the main board, matching the picture to the one on the board. The main idea is to place cards in certain spaces to activate them by collecting cards on other spaces or their own space. For example, if you place at least one card on this sorcerer's space, you can either collect cards already placed on this or this space. Each card has point value on the top corners and the number of duplicate on each player's deck, so players can plan a little bit ahead. Game end triggers when a player can't draw back to hand limit or when Undersea City activated the third time. Players with the most points wins. I feel like if you can card count, you'll have a big advantage in this game. But I don't think this is the game that you should do it anyway, at least not too much. I think it's a clever little game. It reminds me of Lost Cities, the card game, also plays two players. But I feel Opal is less luck based and the fact that each player has their own deck of cards, it feels better, the cards somewhat more even. I think the mechanics is quite interesting. You need to time when to put the cards so you get the cards, not your opponent. But sometimes you got to risk it to get the points. The game is Reskin of Dragonheart that was published around 2010 with different theme and artwork. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Mipu University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time.